So it's another week and we have another product on top of the table. So this is the Fantex Cruiser WG11 Wireless Gaming Mouse. It's one of the Fantex uh, affordable gaming mouse out there. So yeah, welcome back to Channel Tech with Nick Tish guys and it's your host Nick Tish. Although I'm wearing a hat today. So what's so special about this mouse actually? Well, it's wireless and I heard it's one of the more silent focused wireless gaming mouse and it has some good enough battery life into it. And, and if I'm being honest with you, the unboxing is the best feature about it. And yeah, this is the mouse itself i bought the black version of it and if i'm being honest with you it has a soft touch matte finishing atop of the mouse and you guys do get a lot of gre hand grease atop of this mouse well if you guys don't want that you guys always can buy the white version of the mouse which is looks a bit more sleeker but for my setup this red D pad button, it looks far more suitable than any other mouse. So we have the mouse, we just plant it there. We have a warranty card, which is, is a good touch. And we have the user manual it. So what's the technical specification? Well, it has 800 to 2400 dpi adjustable on the fly the dpi button and gaming optimized 2.4 gigahertz wireless 2.0 i believe it uses i believe the dongle uses usb 2.0 and up to 10 meters of wireless distance and it weighs around 63.5 grams well that's about the user manual itself and i may keep this box because it's not silent but it's subtle enough and it does have and it does have a side buttons which is forward and backwards and it's not programmable in the box they don't don't mention about it, whether it's programmable or not and it has three million clicks lifetime so what's the feel of it well i'm usually more like the claw so i use like this in this orientation, I do wish this thing can be a bit more extended because wish my pinky could rest over here but my thumb is rest over in here pretty fine and it's reachable enough to click the forward and back buttons and the scroll wheel, it could be smoother but it's good and doesn't have any RGB around this mouse which is good for battery I guess and the DPI button itself, which is, it's a good thing that it has a red color accent on the top of the DPI button. And it does have some kind of texture around the mouse actually. For me, it feels good, pretty good. And before you guys start to scrape your mouse on top of the mouse pad, there are some kind of plastic on top of the rubber feet actually. And you guys do need to peel it. Don't peel the rub. Don't peel the feet itself. Just peel. Do peel the small plastic on top of the rubber feet, so you guys can get the full action of it. So yeah. So let's plug it into the PC and let's let's get a feel in the gaming world actually. So we're gonna test. A game called minecraft which is one of the best game or the best game of all time i'm gonna start recording it and yeah there's the island itself oh, I, oh. let's get some wood really shall we so while playing for a while right now the click is really good in my opinion it's not as clicky it's really subtle and and it's quite responsive even though it's a wireless mouse and by the way i do love this texture pack and this is the bare bones texture pack which is really it's really nice hey piggy 
I'm gonna eat ya. It's a good gaming mouse and especially having two wireless peripherals it's it's quite good and having a cable cluster fiasco for a year right now having a non having a non cable uh, peripheral which is it's kind of refreshing and by the way guys studio tour coming soon guys make sure you guys are subscribed to it and i'm quite excited to when i'm going to record this well there's nothing much to say about it so yeah let's get into the so, so let's get into the table and i want to give the final thoughts about this mouse actually that's about the mouse actually it's sleek it's subtle and it has good gaming performance and it has one of the more reliable wireless connectivity that i've had in a wireless mouse actually so yeah overall this mouse is good for you and good for your pocket because it's only cost like 50 ringgit and i do like the mouse it's box itself i may keep it so yeah that's been it guys thank you for watching guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and tell me in the comments down below what if you thought of it guys if you're new to this if you're new to this channel guys don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll check you guys in the next video talk to you guys there and hope you guys enjoy